Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. Remember me? I have been here for a while. That's because I have been so busy with working on this custom baby blanket order that I haven't had all that much time for other stuff. And yesterday was a family fun day. I met up with my daughter about 15, 20 minutes away. I left my car at a store parking lot and she drove the rest of the way down to Pennsylvania to a an indoor water park where we met up with my other two daughters and three more grandchildren. So I had all three daughters and all four grandchildren under one roof and there was a son-in-law there too. Um, it was fun watching the kids play in the water. We all had a nice um, family lunch at a restaurant that was attached to the water park and those girls were so hungry from all the swimming and playing and all that. Sometimes dinner time with the kids can be sort of a hassle like come on eat the eat come on time to eat. They were chowing down their food they wanted to go back in and play. So it was a fun day. I was so tired. <laughs> I got home about eight o'clock at night like after my daughter dropped me off back at the store parking lot, I went in and did shopping and then came home with the groceries, got the groceries put away. So it was probably 8.30 by the time I actually got to sit in my chair. And I was like, okay, I don't think I did three inches on the baby blanket today. I need to make sure I get like at least three inches done. So I picked it up to work on it and the crochet hook fell out of the blanket. And I you know, look over you know, next to my recliner. I don't see it. I move a few things, you know, pick up a bag, move this. I still don't see it. And I was just, I was so tired. I was like, <laughs> I lost my hook. Now I can't play with yarn. And I was just sitting there, just almost paralyzed by discouragement and fatigue and all this. Like, I can't do anything. Well, then I looked again. I actually got a flashlight, shining a flashlight. It had fallen down, hit the floor, and then bounced up. And I have a little case on the floor with pens and colored pencils and pencils. It had bounced up and like lodged itself in that case of pencils. So, you know, here's a couple of pencils and there's the tip of the crochet hook sticking out through the pencils. So, got the hook back, worked on the afghan for maybe an hour, half an hour. I, I don't know how long it was, but I was just like, okay, I can't take this anymore. Time to stop. I've earned enough crochet time I could work on something small. And I picked up the pile of patterns next to my chair and I looked through them. And once again, I was so tired. I was just like, no, 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 not that, not that. I don't want to do that. So I just went to bed early. I usually stay up till around 1130 or so and I was out like a light by 10 o'clock. So I got a good night's sleep. I think today I can actually work on stuff without um, without so much resistance. <laughs> but over the course of the week, when I was working on um, working on small little projects, after my um, daily quota was done on the blanket. I had something to work on. Let's see. Yeah, okay, it says nine inches. I found this pattern, Pixie the Robot, from Lion Brand Yarn. If you went to Ravelry and you searched for Pixie the Robot, you can find it that way. Um, I will eventually link it in the description. So I pulled up my yarn from my artist's choice bag that my husband made me. 
before I made a little hug monster with the purple and orange and black. There's Mr. Mohawk. But now I made a Pixie the Robot. I had fun with this. It did take a little longer than usual because yeah, Pixie's a little bit chubby around the middle. But it was fun. The one thing that I noticed about this pattern, when you're working on the antenna, the numbers go one, three. One, three, four, five, six, I think it was. And I was looking like, no, I don't think so. I th so I did one for the, the magic ring, and then I used the increase row that they had listed as row three. And then they just had one row even for row four. So I did three and four even. And then I think there was a little row of decreases before you changed the colors. So that's how I did. That's how I reinterpreted. Although my, yeah, they may look a little, maybe I should have done the extra row for the, in the orange, because it does look like there's our, their knobs up here on top are a little shorter and the orange is longer. But there's Pixie. I need to find the other robot that I recently made. It's probably in a bag back there. I think it was last month I made a robot from my book, 20 Tiny Toys to Crochet. And I'll get the two of them together, get pictures of them together, get pictures of them separately, and do a robot listing. When I was browsing through the Lovecraft website, I think they accumulate and link downloadable patterns from websites all over the internet, like they have patterns from Lion Brand Yarns. And other designers who have free downloadable patterns, they give you the link. I hope that that's the case. I hope they're not one of those naughty websites that offers paid patterns for free. But there, I found their website was really easy to say, okay, show me all the free patterns that are toys and crochet. And whoop, was able to browse through like nine pages and print up a bunch of patterns. There was a robot in there that I want to make another one of because it's nice to have a different variety of robots. Like if somebody goes to a robot listing, they can pick this one, this big one, or this one. to have different price, price points and different styles that they can choose from. I think that helps my listings to sell. And that way, if I've got this guy up for sale and then another robot up for sale, if he sells, the listing is still active with the other guy. So then I can like remake him and get the listing booted up again. That's just, it's, I've used that listing format for some dinosaurs, monsters, stuff like that. And it just helps that I don't have listings expiring all the time because, okay, somebody bought this gecko. So now the listing is renewed for another three months. As long as I sell one of those items every three months, then the listing keeps going. Does that make sense? I hope. I may be, I may be a bit tired and rambling. So, on the agenda today, I'm going to go out and work on the Afghan for a bit. It is currently at, I think, 22 and a half inches. I have to get up to 27 inches before I do a row that evens off a little bit of um, waviness in the top. And then I go to about eight or nine inches of just half double crochet back and forth in white for the pillow. Then I have to make all the little bare faces. So once I've gotten the afghan up another three or so inches, three inches would take it to 25 and a half. That's so close to 27. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. It's Sunday. I'm not really going to push myself today. I'm going to have fun today. I'm going to play with yarn. So I'll work on the afghan for a bit, make dinner, 
most probably take a nap. I'm probably going to fall asleep in my chair after dinner and I'm not going to fight it. And then after my nap, I will probably grab my artist choice bag. Either that or my mystery yarn challenge bag. And I have a pattern that I found on the Lovecraft website that I want to play with. Want to hear a funny story? Let's see. Probably was Thursday or Friday. I got an email from the My Points program. It's an internet program I've been in for ages. And you get these offers where you say like, visit walmart.com and get five points. If you make a purchase, you get 10 points per dollar. Well, there were a few items that we were running low on and I wasn't quite sure when I was going to get a chance to get out and go shopping. And Walmart was probably the cheapest place to get it. So I got together like this $50 Walmart order. Well, I clicked pay, finished my order, and the pizza crust that my husband really likes that we have only been able to get at Walmart in Pennsylvania. These aren't available. They've been removed from your cart. Okay, place the order without the pizza crusts. Then my gluten-free brown sugar cinnamon toaster pastries, which sometimes I can find them up here, sometimes I can find them in Pennsylvania. They're not available. They've been removed from your cart. So I went and I ordered an extra, like one of the items was a big bag of gluten-free flour. I doubled up on that. And um, the order came while I was gone yesterday. So I just unpacked it this morning. One of the items was in a big Ziploc bag. And I looked at this bag and I was just like, oh, I can like put all this scrap yarn in here and then sort of vacuum seal it, although I think I saw a hole in it. I think it's got like a little puncture wound someplace, so I might not be able to vacuum seal it. But I could put my scrap yarn in here. I could probably get like 20 or more cakes of little scrap yarn in here. And then I'd be able to just look at it and say, oh, I want to make something. So let's use like this green and that red, and this yellow, and I'll be able to... I know, I've got trays that do that, but just having it like where I can see everything. I guess you have to be a real yarny to get excited about a big Ziploc bag. So now I'm going to go out to my chair. I'll edit this video and um, hopefully put up an Etsy listing and in uh, oh, about 20 minutes, I need to start working on dinner. So a little bit of craft time and video, video editing. Make dinner, have dinner, fall asleep in the chair, and then play with yarn. Yep, that's my day. I hope you all are having a great day. Just have fun. Play with some yarn. Smile. Tell somebody a funny story. If you get a funny story that, you know, you have time to type up into the comments, go ahead. I like funny stories. So, that's all, folks. Bye-bye.